Well, we are at the uh, Mufet, so glacial volcanic succession, and we are at the southwest end of it, which is a, a, a ridge produced by a, a, a subglacial fissure eruptions, and we are at the very base of that ridge, and what we see is in front of us are pillow lavas, which were accumulated under a fair thickness of ice, most likely a few hundred meters of ice. As we said before, they're pillow lavas because they formed uh, many small lobes, which are about a meter in size or so, and they have uh, pillow-like forms. And um, because they are erupted under the ice, when the lava comes out, the outer surface of the lava will quench very rapidly and form what we call volcanic glass, which is this black material here. And that one has no, the glass itself has no crystals in it, but it does contain larger crystals or phenocrysts of green olivine, which you see here. You can also see this in the rock, which was further in, away from the outer surface of this particular little lobe. And because this part of the, the lava cooled a little bit slower, because it had been already insulated by some crust on the outside here, the, the matrix that it sits in is a little bit grayer because it actually contains very small crystals which you can't see with, with the naked eye. But also that rock contains a l number of green or olive green phenocrysts which are the olivines. And in those olivines we have melt inclusions which, which we are after. This rock also has a few white specks in it which are the plicoclases that we described from the earlier stop.